Welcome to a sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015, where today we're going to take a look at the new Profile CenterMate. The Profile CenterMate makes it extremely easy to put your assemblies together, but also makes it easier to maintain them. Let's take a look. In this example, I've assembled this lens assembly to the main housing using a combination of three mates, often required to fully define a component in an assembly. In this example, we used concentric, coincident, and parallel to remove that last degree or rotational freedom. I'm going to delete these three mates and I'm going to reassemble these components showing the new profile center mate. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and simply select the two faces by holding the control key and I'll choose mate from the pop-up menu. Now you'll notice SOLIDWORKS does default to use the coincident mate. This is the closest standard mate type. But all we need to do is expand advanced mates and you'll notice a new mate type available at the top called Profile Center. As soon as I choose this, SOLIDWORKS not only maintains the coincident relationship between the two faces, it also centers them on one another. Now, that would be great if that's all it did, but it does a whole lot more. In the case of square or rectangular faces, you'll notice that I have the ability to change the rotational orientation of these as well by using these two buttons here. Also, I can go ahead and specify a gap in there if I wanted to, basically adding a dimension. In this case, maybe we want to put a gasket in there. And that's it. I go ahead and press OK, and when I look at the Feature Manager tree, I can see that the minus sign in front of the assembly is gone, letting me know that it's fully defined. Furthermore, if I expand the Mates folder, you can see this was accomplished with one single mate. So it's not like the tool actually added three mates, it's all maintained in one mate feature. Let's take one more look at it, and this time I'm going to go ahead and choose the mate command and go right to the profile center mate. Now the profile center mate is great for faces and square geometry, but it can also be used on edges and round geometry. Let's take a look. In this case, I want to mate the edge of this socket head cap screw to this hole. And when I do that using Profile Center, not only does it create the concentric relationship, it also makes them coincident to one another. And with fasteners, that last degree of freedom or rotation can also be locked within the command as well. And that's it. Let's do that one more time. In this case, I'll select this edge and this edge of this hole, choose Profile Center, and go ahead and press OK. And when we look at the Feature Manager tree, we can see that not only are the components located, they're fully defined, meaning the rotational degree of freedom is gone. But the best part is, is the assembly has been fully constrained with just three simple mates. So as you can see, the Profile Center Mate not only makes it quick to put your components together, it makes it a lot easier to maintain them down the road.